beauties <laughs> welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me if you haven't already please watch my previous videos also like comment share and subscribe to my channel today i am going to attempt to recreate a look that i saw on shalom black it's called i think it's called the pearl look or i know it's with pearls so um i fell in love with it and i said why not create recreate this because i actually have a photo shoot later today if you see want to see how i attempted to recreate the look please stay tuned <music> Okay, so as you can see, I already started one of my brows and I kind of forgot I was going to do the voiceover. So I was actually talking as if I'm walking you through the tutorial while recording. So that's kind of funny to me. But anyways, I went ahead to fill in my brows with the dip brow in the shade black. I got that from my local beauty supply store and um, I just filled it into my liking. Also, I would like to thank Mr. FBNP for this beautiful mirror that I'm actually using. Not the one I'm holding. It's the one that's standing on the desk. Um, but yeah, you know the vibes. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I just went ahead to fill in my brows all the way until I was satisfied. And then I started to clean it up. So to clean up my brows, I went ahead and took my Fenty Concealer in the shade 420 and I just um, put it on top and on the bottom of my brows and I went ahead to clean it until it got to where I wanted. Sorry guys, I'm a little tired so if you hear me messing up, <laughs> don't mind me. It's been a long day and also trying to record and do my makeup, it was it was a challenge, but I made it through, so. So yeah, um, I just like to really take time to do my brows because I feel like if my brows do not come out right, then it's just going to throw the rest of my makeup off and we definitely don't want that to happen. So I, I like to get it as neat and clean as possible. After finishing my brows, I went ahead to moisturize my face with my Neutrogena water gel and I just put it all over, including my T-zone, especially my T-zone. And after that, I went ahead to color correct. By color correcting, I used the LA Pro Girl Concealer in the orange corrector and also mixed it with the shade Chestnut. So just to cover up like dark, my dark circles and um, dark spots on my face just to brighten it up. And I used my hand to um, 
to blend it and then I use the beauty blender so actually when I do this step it basically um, I do not have to use a lot of foundation so I found some foundations are minimum to full coverage so when I do this step you know it allows me to use less foundation and um because it actually covers most of the spots and it, it blends very well it's all about the blending guys you have to blend so um yeah you'll see as we continue Next, I went ahead to use the Becca foundation, and I used my um, foundation brush. I do not remember where I got that brush from, so I um, went ahead to add a couple of pumps, and I just blended it out. Do you see how it's already covering? the area like do you see how it's already covering my face and we're not even finished yet it's just it's beautiful so i went ahead to fin to put the foundation all over my face blend it in and also on my head because i do not want my head to be one color and then my face to be another color i did get a tan this summer guys so we trying to avoid that so i just blend it out evenly and then i went ahead to um highlight and contour for my highlight and contour well for my highlight I use the LA Pro Girl concealer in the shade fawn and then um, I put it under my eyes above my lips and on the bridge of my nose and my chin sometimes I don't like to always um, highlight my chin because it's already pointy <laughs> So, you know, yeah, we just don't need it to stand out anymore. But I did. Alright, so I just went ahead to blend it out with the brush first. And then I um, went ahead to blend it out with the uh, beauty blender. Guys, sorry, if you see the screen jumping a little bit, that was my makeshift desk. So I didn't realize my leg was... um. But my leg was shaking a little, so I didn't realize it was uh, shaking the desk until I went back to uh, watch the video. After blending my highlight, I went ahead to set it with my Ben Nye Banana Setting Powder. And I just put it on all the areas that I um, highlighted under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, and um, my chin, and above my uh, lips. So after setting my highlighted areas with my Ben Nye Banana Powder, I went ahead to dust off the excess um, powder with the Black Radiance Pressed Powder in the shade Ebony. Usually I like to, you know, sit and bake, but I just didn't have the time today because I was trying to leave the house early and somehow I still did it. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I went ahead to dust off the excess powder and after that i did my contour for my contour i used the milani contour and highlight stick and it's in the shade dark deep number five i really really love this cream contour and it's just so smooth but i'm basically finished so i just scraped a little bit of it for my um to contour my nose and then i used a different uh contour for my cheekbone area so I just went ahead to blend it out and also, you know, put it over my eyelids since I was just going for a natural um, look.
So I was blending for my life because I wanted to make sure my nose was contoured for the gods, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I just went ahead to um, finish contouring my nose and then I moved along. So for my cheekbone area, I went ahead with the Bikiss 3D Contour Stick in the shade Deep. It's not my favorite, but I just had to use it since I ran out of my um, Milani Contour Stick. So off camera, I set my contour with the Julia's Place to Hair and Two Palette in the shade Fez. Then I went ahead to set my entire face with my BK Matte Finishing Powder in the shade Cognac. Next, I sprayed it with my rose water setting spray, and I went ahead to just cool it off. Shout out to my sis, Banty Samantha, for putting me on to that mini handheld fan. So next, I just went ahead to apply my black liquid liner, which I got from my local beauty supply store. And usually, you know, I do this step but I kind of forgot it today but whenever I'm doing my makeup and I'm applying false lashes I like to apply my natural lashes with some uh, black Jamaican castor oil using a spoolie for me I just noticed that it helps the mascara to um, apply better and also at night it's easy to take off I don't have to worry about the mascara sticking to my lashes so but yeah you know just give it a try and see how you like it but I know for me it works perfectly after applying my liner I went ahead to set my lashes which I got from Missy's hair boutique of Atlanta I just went ahead to set it with the glue and um I allowed it to dry so while it was drying I did go ahead to start the pearls I was so excited guys <laughs> but yes this is the moment that I've been waiting for and yes so I started taking the pearls off with my hands but then my nails are kind of getting in the way so I um I got the first couple of pearls on but then I started using the tweezers and since I was a little pressed for time <laughs> I did have to uh, go ahead and do it off camera so I just did my, I just added my lashes on I don't know if it's me, but I'm sure some of you, you know, some of you guys can relate. Anytime we are in a rush or, you know, just trying to go out in a timely fashion, <laughs> one or both lashes, they just like to give me the hardest time. Sometimes I just want to give up. I'm like, no, I need the lashes <laughs> to pop the look. <laughs> but when I'm at home just playing in my makeup, that's when they want to go on perfectly the very first time so we made it work <laughs>
Okay, so after going off camera to do my pearls, this is what I came back with. And yes, I did make that pearl necklace as well. So um, I will leave that information down below. But I love this look, guys. I tried my best and I love how it came out. I just went ahead to apply um, my brown lip liner and some clear gloss on top of it. I didn't want to do anything dramatic with the lips because the pearls are already dramatic as is. And I just added some hoop, some pearl hoop earrings to go along with it. So I'm sure you've seen my little pearl fall off, so I just went ahead to <laughs> apply her back on. And yeah, this is the look before I added the hoops. And this is the final look. So I did, you know, add more satin spray. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. I'm a little crazy, but in a good way. <laughs> but yes, I just couldn't stop looking at it. It was so beautiful. I said my bluffing been in my Easter. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't take myself sometimes, guys. <laughs> wow. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Alright guys, so if you enjoyed this look, please leave some comments down below and let me know how you think I did. See you next time. Bye.